<laughs> Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming. Maybe we go over a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me virtually across multiple yards of distance is alex hello everyone how are you alex i am good you know, tired as always but i'm good <laughs> always tired right yeah always i mean like you know it, it's weird because you know you get eight hours of sleep which is what you should get but you feel exhausted or you get four hours of sleep but you feel great i'm gonna say there's a sweet point right eight hours i feel okay Nine mm-hmm. hours, too much. I feel sluggish all for a long time. Yeah, no, for sure. It takes me a while to recoup. It's weird because I want to say six to seven, I still feel decent, maybe mm-hmm. a little tired. Three to four, power nap. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I remember those good. days. You feel alert. Three. You feel alert. Mm-hmm. Can I do it now? Not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Luckily, I am. Yeah, I'm sure you are, but uh, for me, it's just, it's just it, I find it harder. I'm sure eventually I will get better at it. Yeah, it, um, when you get used to it, it becomes kind of like a what is normal? It? Yeah, it becomes like the yeah, it becomes the norm. So like you know, because oh, I'm gonna tell you, that's what you I'm went on. This quarantine thing, mm-hmm. my sleep schedule a mess. <laughs> oh, dude, for for sure, because you know, I, quarantine, you know, you you know, it's like it's like. 10 o'clock in the morning i'm gonna go take a nap you wake up like 10 hours later you're like oh okay i must stay up for the rest of the night the next day you take another nap for an hour and then wake and then it's like it's all weird i've been going to bed at like 4 to 5 a.m oh for sure completely not healthy waking up at like 10 to 12 oh i do that every yep absolutely not healthy but i mean i get stuff done i guess (laughs) yes oh but enough about us alex if you liked this random bit of nonsense, and I got what you want. You can go over to every podcast service and YouTube every single Friday. Check us out there. If you love us even more, don't worry. You have more options. You can go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You can give us a buck. That gives you the exclusive every single month that we do. Uh, it's a Patreon exclusive that only you can view if you donate a dollar. And if you want everything early, don't worry. There's other tiers and shout outs available for you. Just head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. And if you're a freeloader, mm-hmm. again, don't worry. We got you. Head over uh, to all, whatever you view it on. Even if you don't view it on, give us a review, five stars, if you like us. Uh, give us all the likes. Give us all the comments. Give us all the watch time. That helps a lot. Now, a little preview of the news. We got some pretty big next-gen news, Ooh. actually. We got some PS5, some Xbox Series X to talk about. Um, Jason Schreier leaving Kotaku. Pretty big deals. But Alex, oh, no. before we get in to any of this, I have a question. Yes. What have you been playing um, I haven't been able to go back to it because I've been a little busy around home with quarantine, you know, taking care of everything. But um, Nonsense. Yeah. Um, but I have been playing Final Fantasy VII, and I'm almost mm, done with it. Me too. I'm yeah. on Chapter 15. Mm, yeah, I literally just started 15. I want to say 15, maybe. Actually, no. Sorry. I'm on it's 16. Either, it's either, I'm, I'm either on 14 or 15 because I know for a fact I'm on 14, but I can't remember if I started 15 or I'm at the end of 14. Eh, it's potato, potato. Yeah. Like it blends that, in. That, you know? that chapter is uh, short, by the way. 15? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not too long at all. Yeah. And the cool stuff happens in 16. Um, I don't know if it's... Um, I don't think it's spoilers, but... Around that time between, you know, chapter 14, 15 or whatever, there's t- there's a point where you have to do, like, a whole bunch of side quests. Oh, yeah. I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the, the I did that a whole bunch, and I did them all. Yeah, no, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, trying to, uh, I'm trying to do every single side quest because that's all I'm missing. I, I do recommend with one. It's a little confusing. I yeah. recommend looking up a guide, the Guardian of the Slums one. Mm-hmm. Um, because that one's a little complicated because I did all of them and one of them was still unable to be finished and I was very curious why so I looked it up and it's it's a weird the weird thing where you have to progress a little bit in the main story but you have to stop halfway through to finish the rest of the side quest mm-hmm. so make, make sure you look I recommend a guy because I wouldn't have figured it out without it probably mm. I would have done okay. something most likely out of order yeah so far the only thing I've looked up a guide for for this game has been uh, just to make sure I'm not missing any weapons 
uh, or just to see because I because I got a certain sword for Cloud, but I could not figure out. It was like God, I've had it for so long. Is it is it the str- if is this the only last one I'm getting? Is it the strongest one? So th- just for like thing reasons like that. But that's pretty much the only thing I've looked up for this game. Yeah, I, I'm. We'll get into this more in the spoiler cast. But Cloud, not not a lot of weapons. Doesn't no, no, yeah. He gets like three or four. Everyone else, a lot more weapons. But we'll talk yeah. about this more in the spoiler cast. As something else, I've been. Uh, I haven't actually played it, but I've been watching Twitch streams about it. Mm. Uh, Predator Hunting Grounds. Mm. This game looks kind of fun. Yeah. Um, we discussed this on the podcast. I tried playing it when the beta came out, but I never was actually able to do it mm. because the queue was having such an issue playing. Oh no, yeah, for um, sure. That's uh, when I tried the the beta thing. The the queue was I couldn't even get into a game, so I went to a private lobby and played by myself with the computer. Yeah, it, the exact same thing for me. I I couldn't play. I didn't even play the computer thing. I just bowed. I was like, all right, it's not yeah. the cards for me, so I just left. But I did hear custom games was kind of fun because you it, can still it, yeah. kind of play. Yeah, the, it is because like like let's say you and I could play a match on our own, and there's still kind of like AI for like the marine part if you're not a predator, and like you can still run around and do everything. I do little, cool. I do really like the controls for the predator. He's really mm-hmm. smooth when he's climbing the trees and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I watched like I said that Twitch stream, and it looks you look dope when yeah. you're running around as a predator. Yeah, for sure. Just going around the trees, invisible, mm-hmm. heat sink, and all that. That that looks really fun. Yeah, I'm thinking about buying it. I'm not sure yet. Mm, okay okay I'm not, I'm not sure yet i'm not sure um i think that about wraps up my week it's been kind of busy with some work things mm-hmm. coming up and some other things happening in my life yeah um, but yeah that's about it for my week anything you want to round up um all i know is that in a couple of days we have the call of duty one War for two remaster mm, to play. completely so we'll probably about play that. that tattoo achievements is what i hear about that alex mm-hmm. yep achievements yep, yep. easy nah, i wouldn't say easy but pretty easy achievements yeah um, not not a free thousand by any means, but I no, mean a right, good right. a good eight hundred, good yeah. eight hundred. Um, my goal, hopefully, sometime oh. this week, uh, like you know, starting because today's uh, okay. We're recording almost four o'clock in the morning, because, <laughs> just because we have you know things going on, but we want to make so, sure yeah. we get this content out, you know, to everybody. Of course. Um, and apologize if you know if it's late. People who do. Uh, listen to us and you know we're like oh where's the pet episode we got you we're working on it we, we got you we're a little late usually yeah. we post midnight uh yeah on, on fridays but we will be a little late but I, I feel like they'll understand yeah yeah um but um you know, starting maybe monday like next week hopefully by the end of next week i'll have final fantasy done Ooh. yeah so i, I want to finish I will- that I will have it done by next recording for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we do a spoiler cast by Friday. Yeah, I am no, in no way guaranteeing that, <laughs> but right, right. If right. we can get it done, we will for sure do that. Yeah, I cannot wait to see how this nets out and how much I'll actually enjoy it. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I'll platinum this in the next month because it's not a hard mm, platinum. It looks like name platinum. Okay, okay. It doesn't look too bad. Um, don't know if I'll platinum it, but I'm, I, I am going for some achievement yeah. uh, excuse me trophies i've only missed a few and then when you beat the game you do get chapter select so it will be oh, a little easier you? yeah i did not know that i, I oh, looked it up that make, that, just, that just that just helps a lot more that helps a lot more with certain aspects of the game yep uh, because i've already technically missed something but chapter yeah. select they go right back so it's not even that big a deal yep yeah because i missed the there's a certain trophy with a certain materia thing mm. and i couldn't and i forgot to grab it i missed the music disc I think I'm missing mm. literally one, so I have to go to that chapter and go get it. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. All right. Alex, let's talk mm. about some PS5 news. Oh, no. This is a Bloomberg report released a few days ago, um, but I think it's important to go over. Um, so I'm going to re- start reading the article straight from Bloomberg. This is... God, they have so much pops up on this. <laughs> uh, Sony Core plans to produce far fewer units of its upcoming PlayStation 5 in its first year than it had for the previous generation consoles launch. According to people familiar with the matter, the Tokyo-based tech giant is limiting its initial production run in part because it expects the PS5's ambitious specs to weigh on demand by leading to a high price at launch, the people said. Asking not to be identified because the subject is private, the global COVID-19 pandemic has affected Sony's promotional plans for the new device but not its production capacity, they said. The, cam- uh, the company has told uh, assembly partners it would make 
five to six million units of the PS5 in the physical year ending in March 2021, according to other people involved in the machine's supply line. When Sony released the PlayStation 4 in November 2013, it sold 7.5 million units in the first two quarters, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, that's uh, ridiculous. PS4, yeah, that's, that's insane. Uh, just times that by, I think it was 300 at the time. That's a lot yeah. of money. Um, the PS5's loftier price tag may also deter initial ta- uh, take up. Game developers who've been creating titles for the next PlayStation anticipate its price to be in the region of four ninety nine to five forty nine. And the Bloomberg Intelligence Matthew Canterman it points to increased component cost, pushing up the price required for Sony to break even. Mm-hmm. Sony has struggled with this price saying decision for the PS5 because of the scarce components. Bloomberg notes has reported. A Sony spokesperson declined to comment. Mm, mm. so a lot we knew but some things that we got confirmed there right we know that production is halted because of COVID-19 of course yeah. we also know that uh, I think I think there was another reporter I want to say about a month ago that also said they were struggling with parts and pricing mm-hmm. uh, specifically because I think cooling I, I believe it was their cooling that actually was like a full dollar rather than a few cents mm. so I'm that su- affected, affected I'm surprised it um well, maybe not. Okay, when the Xbox X, uh, One X came out, did it was right. that the one that's liquid cooling, right? Yes, that had an actual liquid cooling. I believe that's, it used. That's terrifying because uh, all I think about is those PCs that has those tubes with liquid in it. Those things look like some I was, sort of alien. I was watching uh, uh, how to make a PC because I'm actually interested in starting one yeah, and i see and i said but i was like should i add the cooling to it and i'm like i don't want to mess with that but i was just it's, watched a vi- i watched a video on how to do it and I'm, it's just so crazy mm-hmm. i know thermal paste mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i know that's a thing yeah i don't know what it really does <laughs> um i i do doesn't yeah. it control heat right well Is it helps it it's it's an adhesive so for certain components on circuit boards but it's mm-hmm. th- uh, for thermal so like it doesn't overheat um certain okay, components so i was half right okay thermal pa- it, yeah. it looks like uh think of think paste. of think of a a non-flammable glue oh okay that yeah. makes sense i guess yeah so you glue the it's for like to glue it, or, and I could be wrong. I'm not gonna lie. I could be just talking out of my ass here. But there's I, a guy listening I, to this, like he, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right. He's probably like, no, that's not it. That's completely the opposite. But no, I, for, from what I believe it is, from what I've seen, the um, thermal paste is you put it in between two components or whatever, it makes it to where it doesn't overheat and it's an it's an adhesive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I also, do think, I think one of the main way, main parts of this is that's interesting and it's struggling to actually get some components. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's actually driving prices a little bit because uh, I, I I do think in part because gaming has grown, PCs have grown, mm-hmm. and the parts are being bought elsewhere rather than just console makers. Yeah. So they're probably getting more of a gouging in pricing in certain places. Um, it's very interesting if this thing does launch at 500 bucks because that means they are about breaking even probably. Um, I'm calling, man. I, I'm, there's going to be more than five. Do you think uh, that would be nuts? That would be nuts if I'm it's more than five, it. especially now since you know people are struggling to have jobs and certain mm-hmm. people are getting less hours at their jobs. They're not able to maintain an income. So I'm curious if they even plan on launching this year. Um, I've I've heard multiple people on both sides on Xbox and PlayStation that the problem isn't the actual making. It's it the 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 hardware is fine. It's actual software. The actual games is going to have yeah. the problem launching on time because. Uh, some productions on game were halted yeah. um, and it's hard to work from home when you have to build things and send them off to certain people oh for sure so moving on so the last thing about PS5 by the way uh, I, I, I'm 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 still racking my brain if this thing's going to be 500 or 550 but Alex there are some rumors on the Series X we're going to hit on this and then we're going to kind of combine these two stories into one okay okay alright so we're going to the first quick thing we're going to go over a series x um logo was trademarked you can view that up just look it up it's just series x logo just google that it'll be probably the first thing to come up just look under the news section on any google or bing um and it's pretty plain i'd say Ser- series is on the left going mm-hmm. up ascending and then there's an x um looks oh jesus I went to the website to, for the trademark logo. Warning, <laughs> people. It. There's you, a video. You got it. 
you gotta mute it, man. <laughs> yeah. I've done I've done that so many times. You go to open something, and then there's eight thousand ads that begin playing. But for the logo, uh, I mean, it's very simple and plain. But I, I'm not hating. I I actually like it. It's um. I would like to say, Alex, simple and clean. No. Oh. Ah, ah. I did it. You did it. <laughs> I got the Kingdom Hearts N- quote N- of the day. And- Nomura has a sense, like a spidey sense. Every time somebody talks about Kingdom Hearts, and he's like. He, I, I heard it. <laughs> he feels it in in his just <laughs> temporal lobe. He's like, "Thank yeah. you." Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and we're gonna let's hit the actual full uh, thing. This is over on Gamespot by Sam Ruther. Uh, Microsoft may reveal cheaper Xbox in May. Microsoft has been providing a slow drip of Xbox Series X info following its official announcement late last year. Now a new round of rumors may provide some clues about Microsoft's next Xbox event and some insight about a cheaper entry-level version of Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X lineup will allegedly be similar to the current Xbox One offerings, which include the most, uh, the more powerful One X and the more affordable Xbox One S. According to Windows Central, Microsoft is working on a cheaper version of the Series X codename Lockhart in lieu of an official name. Many have dubbed this less powerful next-gen Xbox the Xbox Series S. Um, while Lockhart is expected to support next-gen games and experiences, rumor says its performance tops out at just four teraflops, which would be significantly less than the 12 teraflops Microsoft has been claiming the flagship Series X can turn out. That means in order to hit that combination of price and speed, Microsoft would also certainly have to cut or decrease support for fancy features like 4K video output, 120 hertz, refresh rate, ray tracing, and onboard storage. Apparently, development for Lockhart is getting closer to production ready, with Windows Central claiming that some Xbox employees will soon be able to take home pre-production prototypes for extended testing. Um, and of course, uh, uh, oh, let's read this last of the part because this is kind of interesting. But perhaps the biggest impact of this info is when combined with recent rumors regarding the upcoming si- Surface devices, including the Surface Go 2 and the Surface Book 3, it seems Microsoft may be prepping to hold a jo- joint Surface and Xbox hardware showcase sometime in May. A late May event from Microsoft would help replace the void left following E3's cancellation. Huh. All right. So this kind of combines in what we were talking about earlier. Because I was about to ask you, are we still looking at May for these console announcements? And I'm thinking yes. for Xbox, we for sure is. Uh, sorry, for we for sure are. But maybe not Sony. Maybe they wait this out. They they probably hear the rumors just like we do. Hey, they're going to be in May. All right, well, then we have to go after. Uh, I don't know. I feel like cause April, because April's about to be done. So May. Yeah, there's no way they're hitting April, right? They have to hit May or June. I think they hit early June, but they don't go May just because it, that's so close. And they could show Dominus and show PS5 footage right after Xbox just to try and see if they can take over the news cycle. Mm. But for me, I say you just wait and you own the next month rather yeah. than trying to compete for the month that's already been taken. Yeah. And of course, these are rumors and with COVID-19, anything could change, but I do think this is probably correct all of this literally all of this i think is right we've been we've known lockhart has existed for i think two years now i want to say mm-hmm. we've known this for a while um rumors stopped and i think people expected lockhart to go away but i in no way thought lockhart was gone um, um go ahead so, uh so i was about to say today's the or today this is the first time we actually know that it's f- just at four teraflops which seems kind of low uh, seems low, but I think for what they're doing is perfectly fine. Uh, okay. Because at the end of the day, I think people worry about the price point, not necessarily well, what the I- item is doing. I mean, I guess because it is a next gen system, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. I assume this okay. is a replacement for all of your Xboxes. Because at first, I thought the Series X. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the One X. Um, was going to just be the regular system. That's what I was about to say, because I was about to say, Lockhart seemed like if Lock, let's say Lockhart is not as powerful, it was like, why not get an X? But I mean, that is, I guess Lockhart is a next-gen system, so... Yeah, maybe they will have UI problems, or they want some sort of ubiquity, ubiquity so they want everything to be kind of similar, so maybe they will want to do new hardware rather than try to have other people bring their other hardware in. Yeah. But I did think the One X was going to be the normal one until Lockhart came out. And I'm also turned out to be wrong. I originally thought Lockhart was going to be 
150 200 bucks and mm. it was essentially a chromecast that played project x cloud stuff mm. and i that's definitely not true now i think it's way too early for stuff like that so yeah. um i did i didn't think lockhart was going to come day and date i thought we were probably going to get lockhart next year mm. um, but here we go we're, yeah. we're getting lockhart this year i think i think yeah. we're getting same date no, I, th- with I think we're X. getting everything this year lockhart yeah. X and uh, X uh, X Cloud. Yeah, I mean, hey, I don't, I don't hate it. It gives people who don't want to pay the extra money easier entry point if you don't already own an Xbox. Yep. Um, they did say if you own an Xbox, you will be able to play games for I think three years. I think is what they said, three or five years, which is insane. Um, they'll let you play new Xbox games for like three years, so you'll be able to play Halo Infinite. Oh wow! Which is crazy. I I I, it, I can't imagine that thing running. But hey, yeah. maybe maybe they run just fine and they spent just the extra time cra- to make sure. That's crazy. That's wild. Um, but let's see if they hold to that. Of course, could yeah. just be uh, a, an incorrect statement at the wrong time. But hopefully that turns out to be the case. And then we got a little bit more. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on Microsoft. We'll talk Series X games soon, says Phil Spencer. Um, and this is Jordan Ramey, I believe, on GameSpot as well. It uh, looks like Microsoft will have more to say about games coming to Xbox Series X soon. On Twitter, Xbox head Phil Spencer hinted that it won't be too much of a wait until we get another announcement in regards to Microsoft's plans. And this is his quote. Reviewed plans uh, for April 20th, uh, sorry, April 22nd for continued sharing through launch. Spencer wrote on Twitter, team is doing great work and adapting. I've never been more excited about Xbox plans. We've heard you. You want transparency, authenticity. We plan to keep showing that way. Next step is not too much of a wait. So hmm. that's just a cool thing. Phil Spencer tweeting at some random person, I think. Yeah. Um, and said, "Hey, we're planning on it. We're trying to get stuff out, which is cool." Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm we'll excited. hear about the games. I'm curious again with COVID if any launch plans are ruined because you're not going to have problems with releasing games now. It's it's crazy because I mean like we're now we're now at a point to where like COVID is still such a big thing, but now some people are thinking that it's going down, so they're starting to re uh, like come pretty much come back to civilization and it's like why you're gonna make it worse hey and you know what i'm one of those guys that says this is way too soon yes i hope i'm wrong maybe hope hopefully i'm wrong we're all going down you know all the cases go down they're mm-hmm. all right hopefully we're right i think they're all wrong and we're making this situation worse by reopening but hey mm-hmm. i guess you do you i don't know i'm gonna I'm I'm keep my own, i'm gonna keep myself home Yep, me too. Uh, I see a lot of people at Walmart, a lot. Mm-hmm. So I definitely don't see them doing any uh, social distancing. But hey, yeah, I guess you do you. Um, but yeah, the, we're getting a little bits and information here. I think May is where, when we're going to actually start revving up. All right, next gen start. We're, we're starting to talk more. We're going to hear about the games. Um, right now, Alex, are we still getting? We know we get Halo Infinite, right? Yep. We getting Fable at this event Ooh. in May? I know, right? Right? We know uh, Playground Games is making a Fable game. Mm. This was leaked a long time ago. I think These we'll get a. I think we'll Horizon. get a gl- uh, like a hint of it. I think we'll get a little like you know like salt, a little salt, like you know you little sprinkle at the end. I think we're getting yeah, a little sprinkle. I think those show much, like because mm, 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 okay. I think the hints at that and dragon age oh really i have i have for some reason i have a feeling in the pit of my stomach that they're gonna show some dragon age and before no. or after dragon age they're gonna sh- they're gonna have, be like oh uh for the fans out there to get ready we're gonna have a collection for either dragon oh. age or mass effect collection yes just keep saying that Alex. that's all i have a feeling <laughs> about that one all right i have some potential add-ons for you okay. before we get into that i want to say halo infinite fable will be at the event and then a new ip of Ooh. which is which is not fun to say it's like oh something new will be there but i do yeah. think a new ip will be there um uh i've heard rumors of what was it a, a um a team is working on perfect dark Interesting. uh uh i've never played those games but apparently I, they're mm. working on a remaster again rumors okay. But yeah. I've heard rumors that one of the teams, I think it was it Coalition. 
Okay. It I, might I played be, the I first couple hours of Perfect Dark Zero. It wasn't bad. I was, in, I was getting into it, but I don't remember why I stopped, and I don't remember the game. So, like, if I, like I'd have to go back and replay it to remember the story. But from what I, when I remember, when I played it, I was enjoying it. Right. Um, okay. So, I'm going to run you down some games that we know exist. Okay. If we'll see it there. Okay. All right. Batman Court of Owls game. We know there's a Batman game yep. by WB Montreal. Will it be there? Yes. We know that this was potentially... Uh, uh, it was kind of leaked, and I believe it, okay. um, that there was going to be a WB E3 event. They were going to have a day hmm. where they announce Batman Court of Owls. And this is another question I'm about to ask you. Okay. The Heart, Harry Potter RPG. Ooh, I think I think that so. We, that that leaked a long I think we'll, time ago. I think we'll see something about that. I don't and know then, if we'll get uh, gameplay, but whatever we'll Rocksteady well, is working on. E. Mm. That's what the that's what that WB Montreal event was going to be. Mm-hmm. Do you think we see any of that at this Xbox event? And then, if we don't see it there, do we see it at PlayStation's event? Um, I think I think for sure we'll see it somewhere. Like we 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 will for sure see it somewhere. So, All right. But I'm get my mind is guessing on on Xbox side. Okay. 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 I respect that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Assassin's Creed Vikings. Yes, for sure. For sure, for sure. At uh, well, is is uh, is, Ubisoft, is Ubisoft gonna have their own thing? Probably, but I think would they do a little Caesar and be like, mm-hmm. "See you next month in our Ubisoft press conference." I have a feeling we'll see that on uh, Xbox because Assassin's Creed has always been more. Uh, they've always showed more. Um, um, com- they always commercialize Assassin's Creed more than PlayStation. Do they? I don't remember. I always um, get mixed up with people, honestly. Like, I mean, even on the Xbox Slim boxes, there's Assassin's Creed, I think, on there, wasn't there? That sounds right. Like, I mean, there was there was even sets of it. I remember, I remember seeing when I walked into a GameStop one time. They had uh-huh. a they had a um, what is it called? One of those, you know, bundles. And you yeah. could get a uh, black flag in Unity, I think it was, or it was some. It was oh god, it was two Assassin's Creed games. I forget what it was. Um, maybe it was Origins, mm-hmm. and you can and you get Unity or the, one of the old, other ones for free, and you get but okay. like, but PlayStation never did a bundle with Assassin's Creed. Xbox has always have been. It would it would be, it hmm hmm. I want to say Assassin's Creed, but that it just feels right. I don't know why. Yeah, I just feel it. It just, yeah, I no, it say- feels right. It's like you know, like Call of Duty is always keeps getting PlayStation's, but right. So I think Assassin's Creed will be on Xbox side. Yeah, because I think they will refeature that, and then um, they'll uh, turn it up to um, be hey, next month we're gonna have a Ubisoft event. Mm-hmm. See the rest there. See, yeah, see, uh, see more we'll, details at their state, at their, uh, at their thing. And then they'll re-reveal Watch Dogs Legion and give that a date. God, whenever I that's supposed to come wait out for that. Whenever game. that's supposed to come, that was supposed to oh, Alex. Look that at was me. a bit that be was already, already supposed to be out. I should have been been done with that game already. That is crazy. I, f- I feel like I'm crazy saying that, but that's true. Oh my <laughs> it's god, supposed I'm so to upset. Have already been out. I would like to be in that world again. That's one of my favorite worlds. <laughs> Yeah, it, and it looks so cool, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. My thing is I can't comprehend that every AI is a has its own, like, it's a character, pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. So, it's so strange, but I'm down. It's like, do it. it's like they, it's like No Man's Sky, like the, like the world of No Man's Sky, but into Watch Dogs, because, like, every, there's, like, you know, every star is a planet and things like that. Like, it's just unlimited stuff. Yeah. It's like that with Watch Dogs. It's, like, nuts. It it is pretty crazy, and I'm, I'm excited. And of course, we'll see Halo Infinite there. Oh yeah, um, for sure. And then we'll get we'll get the launch we'll get the launch games. We'll get mm. what we get launched. Now, launch do we launch. start with Halo or do we end with Halo, or is it be like we're in, in the middle? I think That's we start. Question. I think we start with it. I think we start with Halo and end with something we don't know about. So yes. you either end with Batman or Harry Potter if you're mm. able to grab them. Yep. Yep. Or yep, you yep. end with Fable. Ooh, Fable's I think we end with Fable. I think I think Fable is the biggest thing you have. Yep. 
that or Dragon Age, like I always started talking about. If a if they have Dragon, that's a huge, oh. huge get if they get Dragon Age. Yeah, that would be so cool. They end with skate. <laughs> we're gonna make it we stole ea's ip <laughs> hey man we're just making it now <laughs> i'm still waiting on this fucking session preview to get on xbox it's on it's on it's on it's on pc but it now i'm just waiting it to be on xbox because uh next month i got uh, one month and i got man eater on my, on my xbox yes man eater um, i, I want to be a shark do, and it, just demolish dude things. and it's crazy because it's not that it's you don't just do that you rank them up and you level them up. <laughs> like it's an R- it's a shark RPG. And you get so big. That's what I'm saying. Like is, the more awesome. you level up, like it's just crazy the things that you can do. It's like I love sharks, dude. Like so, like this, I'm like, oh, I wonder what I can do and 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 can't do. Oh, and and another cool thing I saw: uh, Xbox Series X will load Gears Five four times faster. Oh, um, dude, did you see that? Just, just to give people kind of reference on how strong it is, that um, it's four times faster than mm-hmm. than anything else. It's crazy. It was ridiculous. Love it. Mm-hmm. Anything, anything off the top of your head you think we see there? Forza Eight, obviously, we'll see that. Mm. We'll see whatever for whatever Forza Eight is. We'll see what it is. You think it's gonna be Forza Eight, or do you think it's gonna be a whole new Forza brand? I would love a kind of rebranding and a yeah. little difference because I like I, Horizon, but I want like something new. I feel like there's been eight of them, and I I just assume people love them, so I I just assume, yeah. I assume people still want Forza. So yeah, no matter what, we always need Forza. Yeah, I hope I do. Hope one of the because, best games for racing games. I, I personally is just there's so much going on. I can't, I can't get into it. Yeah, but I do hope for rebranding. But hey, it, it's there for people who want like the super hyper realistic stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a that's everything off the top of my head. I can't remember. Oh, and um, this is pie in the sky. Okay, probably won't happen. All right, so we got the Spider Man PS4 game. Okay, exclusive to PS4. Okay, Nintendo Switch got Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. Okay. Exclusive to the Switch. Okay. Where is Xbox's Marvel game? And Xbox this is Marvel a, or Rocksteady's Superman game. If that's true, which I think I think they tried, but it didn't work. Mm. Um, I, I believe the rumors we got um, that they pitched it and Warner Brothers said no. Uh, mm. Which I, I agree. It probably that's probably what happened, which sucks. Yeah, but I I agree that that's probably what they probably went up, tried to pitch the game, they just weren't into it, and they went to do whatever else they're doing now, I, w- yeah. which I have no idea, because th- the rumors were Superman, then Suicide Squad, then N- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for a little bit, but I think that was kind of made up, and then they went to, um, what was it, uh, Justice League? Okay, and now it's this. I have no idea. Yeah, I have zero idea what this game's gonna be. Excited I nonetheless. We'll see. Excited nonetheless, but I, I, do you think we're getting a Marvel game exclusive to Xbox? Was my original mm. question. I don't Will think so. That? No, really. Not not exclusively. No. Not not like PS4 and sorry, not like Sony and Nintendo did. The reason I I well the reason I feel like. Sony got a Spider-Man PS uh, like game uh-huh. is because they already had they you know they had Sony and uh Spider-Man already had a thing before in the past. They, they had a relationship. Yeah, so like for example like the uh, the Tobey Maguire movies that was with Sony and Paramount. I think it's Paramount Studios. Uh-huh. Um, but they always, you know, Sony and every time you watch the those Spider-Man movies, you know, the the word Sony would come up. So I think that's why they had an exclusive with that. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, but um, I don't think Xbox would have an exclusivity. I think they'll get, uh, they'll have the games, but I don't think exclusivity wise, I don't think so. That'd you be awesome. Though. You you break my heart, but you're probably right. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're probably right, but you are breaking my heart. But hey, mm-hmm. we gotta stay real sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. You we got to sometimes. We gotta stay real. We gotta, if no one else is gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> And just for fun news, in Xbox One, Cyberpunk 
edition it was announced um i believe you can uh uh you can it comes out before the game but it comes with the digital version of the game it looks sweet mm-hmm. uh, it looks super dope i think you can buy the controller separately as well and then there is a special okay. edition hard drive that you could buy as well mm-hmm. uh, i think it's seagate two terabyte or four terabyte hard drive Gotta um, go with I the think four, it's man. only two. You gotta go with the four, but I think it's only two. I did not look that up, so yeah, uh, which is cool. You, you can get that. It comes out September seventeenth, I believe. No, that's the game release. Sorry, um, June twenty twenty is just when the the system will come out. Mm-hmm. You'll get a, a digital edition of the game. All right, moving on. Alex Jason Schreier, the man that has been said probably the most out of anything on this podcast, mm-hmm. is leaving at Kotaku citing geo media as mm-hmm. reason sad news jason, sad news J- jason schreier a journalist known in the video game industry for covering working conditions inside tight-lipped game development studios announces resignation from the video game news site kotaku on thursday which uh yeah was this thursday uh citing a dissatisfaction with the ownership and direction of parent company geo media schreier who will soon take a position with another company he declined to detail um we now know that is bloomberg news he will be writing for bloomberg news um he n- announced that i believe two days ago um uh, but yeah he, he announced that hmm. uh, that's really honestly guys um, that's all we know uh I, like i said he mentioned gm geo media um that is a super long story that Honestly, I'm not going to really get into now. If you want to read the full story, you can go over to the Washington Post, get full details. Uh, to boil it down, it was a uh, very, very layered issue with upper management, and they kind of had an in-den fighting that eventually resumed into the editor-in-chief getting fired, and then a bunch of people walking out, and then him eventually just leaving to another place. So good it for happens. him. He's yeah. he's uh, He's in a better place, not dead, but in a yep. better place <laughs> mm-hmm. yep, yep. Uh, for for his mental sanity, I assume. Mm-hmm. Um, so we got events, Alex. We got nothing but events to end the show with. Uh-oh. So let's start with. Actually, I'm gonna give it to you, Alex. Fortnite, Animal Crossing. What do I go to first? No, you gotta you gotta go to the most important one, man. Get the Animal Crossing. Fortnite. First. Good job. <laughs> Animal Crossing mm-hmm. New Horizons event by Kevin uh, Nesik. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons 1.2.0 event is now live. The patch introduces a lot of new content to the game, including an expansion for the museum and two more returning characters, Leaf, the flower seller, (laughs) and Red, the art dealer, which sounds super shady, and I love it. Uh, Mm -hmm. The update also marks the start of the game's newest event, Nature Day, which is now underway until May 4th. Um, throughout the uh, Nature Day event, Nuke Inc. will uh, offer special Nuke Miles Plus objectives that involve planting trees, watering flowers, taking advantage of a new feature, that ability to plant shrubs, shrubs. Uh, which can be purchased from Leaf. Overlapping with the Nature Day festivities is another event called May Day, which runs from May 1st to the 7th. During that event, you'll be able to take a special limited time May Day tour that ships you off to a different island from the usual mystery tours. As previously mentioned, arriving alongside Nature Day are the two new merchant characters. Um, they'll be set up in front of your residential services, and then Reed will dock his treasure trailer uh, in the very back of your island. Cool. Yeah. Uh, hey, good. Hey, good for Animal Crossing. It's only been a month, and we've already gotten two pretty big updates. Mm. Um, this one, of course, being the biggest one uh, so far. So I'm I'm excited. I'm still playing it like a complete man. Man, did I think <laughs> I would be playing this game a month after? The, no. No, yeah, absolutely same. not. Um, absolutely I'm, not. <laughs> I'm playing a little. I'm playing less than what I did for the first right. few weeks, but I'm still. Play, I'm getting on every other day, or at least yeah, every, once in. a day. Yeah, checking, checking in. Um, I've just hit the the last uh, loan for the house, so I got my. Ooh. I got all my. I got all my rooms, and it's the two million. I think four hundred thousand loan. Mm-hmm. So I got to do that, but I just hit. I just sold my first turnip stock market thing or whatever it is called. Did you make some money? I made almost three million. There you go. Yep. Oh, it's so satisfying, isn't it? Yes. I and like went nuts with that dude. I, I bought like yeah. a million worth, I think, and made and made like five million, I think, or something. Yeah, like that. it's it nuts. Something like it's, that. Yeah, it's crazy because I like I just went on Twitter and I just looked for the people who were doing it. 
and uh this person seemed nice i was like oh hey i was like hey uh, are you still doing your uh, i don't know i'm you know a first time turn up seller i want to try it out and, and they're like yeah man go for it so they gave me their dodo code and i gave them their an incentive like you know because they didn't ask for anything so i was like i'll give you this and i they they even let me come back twice because i was like hey i'll give you this extra thing if you let me come back a second time because i didn't have enough uh space for all my turnips and they're like yeah go for it so i, was, I thought that was super awesome that's so cool. That's so cool. I love, I love the, I love part of the community. Anyways, <laughs> a yeah. lot of them can be really nice. A lot of yeah, them yeah. can be a little crazy, but yeah, hey, like I, love, I, I dude, love them all dude. equally. <laughs> yeah, because the one that I did, it was selling for five hundred and three bells. That's a, that's a good. I, um, that's a good one. The one I was trying to hit was seven hundred, but they never answered me back. So I was like, you know what? I'll go to this uh, nicer happens. person. It happens. I had a I had a friend actually on Twitter. Um, I think it was uh, Tyler at tk luch or something mm-hmm. like that something, it was really long but um uh he was a kind of funny best friend and uh mm-hmm. he messaged me or sorry he tweeted out he was doing some stuff and i hit him up and he uh got me on his island 600 bells which was really nice 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 600 bells yeah um, the um, the person that i was doing with it is their name is zan party zane so Shout out to Zan Party Zane. Yep. Well, the, <laughs> Twitter yeah. is so weird, <laughs> right? It, well, because it, it's the at the at this that's her at name, and then on top it just says Vimi. But yeah, yeah, they were pretty cool and nice. So I, I thought that that's was cool. awesome. That's cool. Uh, hey, you love you. It's great to great to hear. Great to hear. Yeah, man. Um. Oh, and just so you guys know, if you're struggling with turnips, um, turnip exchange. Just Google that. Um, and click the first link that will help you uh, kind of find people that are selling turnips. Um, yep. It's sometimes hard to find people who don't want uh, 8,000 different things uh, oh for you God, just yeah. to sell some turnips. Um, but eventually, like a million we'll bills, someone. please, and 10,000 gold nuggets, and I'd let you in. It's like, yeah, three three gold nuggets, and then like 10. Some people want 10 Nook Mound tickets. It's like, guys, relax. Yeah. Like, come on. Be, be cool, chat. Be cool. All right. Fortnite event. A strange one, but I respect it. Travis Scott event in Fortnite. Um, so Fortnite events aren't only for players checking out new content, uh, but the popular banner has played host to multiple premieres and collaborations, uh, just like the when they showcased the never seen clip of Star Wars, uh, The Rise of uh, Skywalker, and the first episode of Chance the Rapper's reboot of Punked on Quibi, which that's just a god-awful statement because <laughs> mm-hmm. i don't understand anything that i just read uh on thursday Tra- uh, travis scott debuted his new music in an event called the astronomical experience in fortnite scott used the game to create the psychedelic event inspired by cactus jack's creations which is the rapper's nickname and the name of his record label mm-hmm. um and that fortnite tweeted out over 12.3 Three million concurrent players participated live in the Travis Scott's astronomical and all-time record. Damn. Um, Alex, did you see this at all? I actually watched um, a quick video about what happened. Did I you... saw the just pictures of it, but I didn't actually watch the event. Um, so I watched a video. It was like ten minutes because I was just curious. Whoa! It's as if you took acid and then played Fortnite. It's pretty cool. Um, pretty cool actually. Uh, I like the constant event that seems to happen in Fortnite mm. um, that no other game seems to really nail. Uh, again, Fortnite slowly turning into like a more of a platform like than really anything else, which is great to see. And then something that you can do be so different, like offering a concert, especially during a pandemic. People yeah. can't leave. It's nice to go to a concert, and it's actually really good music too. I actually liked it. I, I don't listen to Travis Scott regularly, but the music he's, the, that he's playing was pretty nice. I, I cool. was enjoying myself. All right, and um, I believe these will all be done um, by the time of posting. But just in case, on the twenty fifth, twelve a.m. Uh, and eleven a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, you can still check out uh, the time. Or sorry, the event, and then six p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, on the 25th, you can also try and check the event out if you still choose to. All right. But yeah, looks good, good for good for Fortnite. I'm always excited hearing a cool event. Um, I probably won't catch this one, uh, yeah. only because again, not a huge Travis Scott fan. But it did look awesome. I did watch it, and it was fun. Yeah, most likely I'll probably just like look it up to watch it. 
because you know, mm-hmm. I honestly did don't even know who Travis Scott is. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing going around on Twitter. Everyone just go, I don't even know who this guy is. He's actually pretty famous. I was surprised that not that many people hmm. know about him. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying he he's not huge, but I mean he was pretty, he's relatively famous. So I'm surprised that not a lot of people heard about him. Yeah, Alex, hmm. that is the news for the week. Oh yeah. Well, but right before we wrap up, we like to relax a little bit. And I like to Alex. Ask Alex just one more question. What are you going to play? Mm. So Anything driving at your mind, particularly right now? I want to finish Final Fantasy. Of course. And if I can, I want to go to Persona. There we go. Persona! It, it, it's, still, <laughs> it's still in my mind. Me too. Uh, surprisingly, yeah. I surprisingly. missed the world. I, I, it's it's upsetting because right when I hit Final Fantasy, Persona Five Royal is right next to it. Oh, for sure. One so, click, like, Alex. Oh no, it's yeah, all for it sure. takes for dude, me to I, go back. <laughs> it, dude, it upsets me because I'm like I, I sat there, and I'm like looking at it. I'm like, which one should I play today? And I'm like I, I want to go back to Persona, but I need to finish Final Fantasy first. I'm like. So I, I did the whole thing to where like I just kept going the I, I just I hit the D pad back and forth really fast and then I pressed X to see which one it lands on. <laughs> it kept landing on Final Fantasy four times it. in a row and I'm like, I'm gonna oh, say, well, did, okay. you, did you retry it? <laughs> you were like, yeah. oh, I don't I don't actually want to do that. <laughs> I actually did it four times and it landed all on Final Fantasy and I was like, all right, I guess that's it's fate. The, yeah, it's, it's fate. fate. It's fate at that point. You have to. You have to obey. Yep. Uh, but hey, shout out! I, I'm en- I'm enjoying my time with Final Fantasy. I'll yes, uh, I'll have I full thoughts. It. We'll have a separate review as well um, for people who want our full review. But uh, I'm enjoying myself. The characters are fun. Um, I have some gripes, but again, we'll go over that in the review. Uh, but mm. all in all, I'm having a good time. Uh, as of right now, uh, right about to beat the game. I do recommend it for JRPG fans and people who want to play Final Fantasy VII if oh, you can get sure. your hands on a copy. Again, I uh, echo my sentiments of last week. If you can find one. Go ahead and grab it. Uh, the same thing with Persona 5 Royal, honestly. Yes. Um, I don't think we really we talked about it last week. But if, again, you like JRPGs, and if 100-plus hour JRPG sounds good, then get it. Because it's if, definitely 100-plus hours. <laughs> for people who didn't get into Persona when it got first released, I'm talking from experience, try it now. Because you have nothing else to play, I'm sure. It, you, <laughs> so now you can have your mindset on persona and it actually feels so much better and i think it's they i don't know what the differences are from the royal compared to the original but hey i'm digging it so i recommend getting it first off dave and lorraine all right first off keep your eyes on the road because you're about to veer off the road all right keep your Mm. eyes on the road second you asked for this you asked for a year off of gaming all right you asked for it you got it okay you got it Okay. Go play Final Fantasy VII and Persona 5 Royal, okay? Everyone asks for this. You finally got it, okay? You finally got your year without a new game. <laughs> so now <laughs> you go. go through that backlog. If any of you sons of bitches come back after all this pandemic and, you know, we're live and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and you say, oh, I got a huge backlog, I will take my shoe off and shove it down your throat. Yes. That's all. <laughs> 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 I just uh, wanted to complain for two minutes. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I mean, are, like, I, I'm still a little upset because they, they, things keep getting delayed, but it's understandable. Yeah, of course, understandable. And I'm, and from their point of view, they're worried people won't buy it. Yeah, no, they don't have money. No, for sure. No. And I mean, I but I'm, but it's also a good thing for us because then our backlog is becomes less, so we can keep playing those. Yeah, yeah. All, all jokes aside. Try to knock down that black dog if you got some yeah. old TV shows that you're. Hey, oh yeah, knock, that's, this is that, the time. Yeah. Use the time wisely. Oh, I, that's what I'm doing with movies. I I, I watched uh, Birds of Prey. And, yeah, you uh, did. Yeah, I'm going back to my backlog of movies that I that I have I, that I have on there on Vudu. Uh, my mm-hmm. father has a bunch that he and I, now I'm gonna watch uh, Bloodshot, that Vin Diesel movie, and then oh, 1917. God. So I'm gonna try to watch those. Quite a quite a dynamic difference. <laughs> well, yeah, man, it's just a bunch of random movies, man. A surreal war movie and mm-hmm. this guy who's super pale with red eyes. <laughs> Look, okay, it's Vin Diesel. It has to be good, right? 
If hey man, if Vin Diesel can just speak up just a little bit, I'd like him a lot more. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's, I always, he's always talking like this. Either yeah. you win by an inch or a mile, you win the win or something matter. like that. It does. Yeah, there you go. You you're much better at it than I am. It does. You matter. almost had your dude. I almost had you. You you didn't have <laughs> you almost. What was it? Yeah, you almost didn't have your car you, or something. Like, uh, he's like, I almost had you. He's like, uh, ah, what did he say? He's like, I feel like you, he said you almost he, had nothing. You didn't. He, yeah, win by an inch or a mile. I think then he goes into either win by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. Yeah, it's it's man, Vin Diesel is weird. And like his his voice is so like deep and raspy. It's interesting. I love it. It's because he just smokes copious amount of pot. I think. <laughs> is that right? And on that note, <laughs> 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 thank you so much for listening to this weekly version of. <sighs> the achievers gaming podcast remember we post every single friday free straight to your ears from our mouths and of course a bunch of wires and things but that's not important check us out every friday podcast service of your choice or youtube give us a like comment subscribe all the good things five star reviews of course help if you like us even more than that again financially um if you are secure uh, secure in the pandemic of course you can support us financially on patreon.com slash CG Achievers. Give us a buck for our exclusives. You can give us extra for anything early, and there's plenty more tiers to go through when you go over there. You can also ask us any questions over on our Twitters for guaranteed reads. You have to go over to patreon.com, and you just post there as a patron. And we'll for sure read whatever you put there. Again, we will read whatever you put there, coward. All right? Put it on there. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. <laughs> I told you I'd read anything. Alex said it. Alex said it from your, from his mouth to your ears. Yep. Thank but, you guys so yeah, much no. for listening. Yep. Go eat your favorite flavor of ramen. That is yes. your that's your thing for this week. Okay. Stay home. Stay One, safe. Stay home. Stay safe. Again, though, for real, ramen. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Go achieve on some ramen. Okay. Go achieve. Go achieve.